our lives can be filled with afterthoughts. Maybe I should have worn a jacket. Maybe I should have purchased that warranty. Dang. And maybe I shouldn't have ordered that egg salad sandwich from that sketchy food truck. That was not the best idea. In our electronic designs, most often security is an afterthought. Oh yeah, I really should have designed in, well, I'll just software patch it. That'll be fine, right? Um, no, come on. You should know better. Whether we like it or not, the bad guys are out there, and they are looking to mess with, at very least, your design, his design, and even Bob from the Cube down the row's design. And especially that guy. He is always trying to cut corners. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Today, my guest is Reza Ahmadi from Maxim Integrated, and we're going to be talking all about a new turnkey solution for embedded security. If you don't want your next design to be filled with security holes like a fine slice of Swiss cheese, it's time to replace that after with before. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about the Max-Q 1061, a turnkey solution for embedded system security from Maxim Integrated. Welcome, Reza. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so let's say I'm designing my next generation of widget. And for the first time, my widget has to be connected. And that means I suddenly have to worry about security. And I, frankly, Reza, am not a big security expert. Can you give me a lay of the land of this new security realm? Sure. Yeah, the more the objects are connected these days, the more they're exposed to cyber attacks. You know, recent cyber attacks on cameras, routers, and other connected devices should be a wake-up call for the hidden danger of these connected devices. And I imagine infrastructure is probably pretty important here, right? Definitely. Infrastructure are super critical. I'm talking about financial services, healthcare, and transportation. You know, the defense mechanism that most of the operators and owners use are pretty archaic these days and not efficient at all. And security is generally an afterthought, or at least it seems so, right? That is very correct as well. Despite all these wake-up calls, security still remains an afterthought. During the development cycle of a product, there are many decisions to be made. Many of them come to budget and time to market. Also, adding security does not add any new functionality or selling point to your device. Sure. Rather than designing built-in security, people tend to add it at the end of the process or once their devices are compromised and they get panic. Right. (laughs) So a coprocessor usually can be added even if the security has not been thought ahead of time. Hmm. A coprocessor such as Max-Q1061 also enables legacy equipment retrofitting. This is one of the most affordable, efficient way of securing the non-secure solutions. Okay, so why not update the software and patch the security holes? Yeah, you're correct. Software encryption is cheaper to implement and easier to update, but its security level cannot be compared with hardware security. The hardware-based root of trust is the strongest way to secure a system. Okay, Reza, what do you mean by root of trust? Yeah, so root of trust means security at the lowest level. By the way, root of trust, which enables trusted devices and firmware, is one of the three fundamental elements that we believe each embedded connected object should have. The other two are secure communication, and secure storage. Okay, things are getting pretty complicated here. (laughs) Well, not really, but before we continue, let me tell you that we are all covered by Max-Q1061. Cool. Yeah, so let's take a look at the high-level block diagram here. Max-Q1061 is essentially a coprocessor that supports various security functions since security is often an afterthought. Adding a coprocessor is a natural way to add security without redesigning the full system. Mm -hmm. Max-Q1061 answers the three key requirements here, secure communication. It supports the TLS protocol, which is the most widely used protocol for internet-based communications. Also, the support of bulk encryption through a dedicated engine is a unique feature of this part. Cool, okay. Secure storage is the main added value of any secure IC. Keys are generally exposed in non-dedicated secure ICs. Also, by enabling secure boot of the end product, Max-Q1061 guarantees that the platform is trustable and virus-free. Okay, this is getting cool, Reza. 
Yeah, so now let's start from the secure communication. Do you remember the cipher wheels? Yeah, is that kind of like the decoder ring I had from that box of cereal? Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> the same, you know, kind of same idea, but, you know, a lot more complicated. There is no need for me to really explain why we need to secure our communications here. Right. This is where most of the attacks takes place. What we have done is to implement full TLS protocol in our device. Now, TLS, isn't that like the green that shows up in my browser from time to time? Sure, correct. That's exactly the same thing. You know, this is the most widely used protocol for internet-based communications. Max-Q1061 is equipped with this powerful feature. Cool. Okay, so Reza, how does this protect us from the bad guys? Well, you know, TLS is a standard. Also, it's open source and there is no obscurity in it. So it guarantees confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity of communications. Okay, so why do we need all of this? Can we just encrypt and then call it done? Well, I wish we could, but we need all of them. Encryption only takes care of the confidentiality where we want to protect the data from being accessed by unauthorized parties, like trade secrets, bank accounts. But you need to make sure that the data has not been modified by unauthorized parties during the transmission. Assume that you're sending $20 from your bank account. What if someone tampers with that message and changed the amount to $20,000? Whoa, yeah, no, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so see, this is the integrity part. Yeah, that makes sense. And the last one is the message authentication. Okay. How the recipient of the message would know who is the originator of the message? Let's assume that the temperature sensor of a boiler is sending a message that the boiler's temperature is dropping. Okay. How the controller would know if this message is from the temperature sensor or from a rogue element in the system that tries to fool the controller into believing that the temperature is dropping? Mm, okay. Well, if the controller blindly accepts the message, without knowing who is sending this message and it starts increasing the temperature, well, it may lead into catastrophic events. Yeah, that sounds scary. Well, yes, it is scary, but the good news is that Max-Q1061 can take care of all. Now, let me talk about the secure storage. It's very important to protect the keys that are used for our secure communications. If an attacker can discover the key, the whole communication can easily be broken. Now imagine that we have a vault inside our chip where keys and other secrets can be stored. But what if someone tries breaking into that vault? Very good point. You know, our chip is intelligent enough to detect attacks and erase the secrets. The chip can detect environmental, physical, and other type of attacks. So no one can access the secrets anymore. In other words, the secret always remains secret. That's why we call these products Deep Cover. With Maxim Deep Cover Embedded Security Solutions, you can now easily protect your entire system. Deep Cover products offer state-of-art physical security to safeguard all of your critical data and keys. Excellent, okay. Now, let's go back to where the whole discussion has started, you know, the root of trust. Okay. This is the foundation of TLS where you need both authentication and encryption, as we discussed. There is a set of functions that are placed in ROM. ROM is a memory that cannot be altered, so its content is guaranteed. This is where all other functions originated from. I think this is a good time to look at the Max-Q1061 block diagram. All right, let's go. Okay, so Max-Q1061 is a microcontroller that has its own embedded firmware and customers do not have to write any firmware. TLS command set interpreter will provide a set of pre-coded commands the host processor can call to these commands through the I2C or SPI interface. We support the modern cryptographic algorithms such as AES, ECDSA, and SHA. Hmm, Reza, I'm not aware of AES or SHA. Yes, these are cryptographical terms. The good news is that the user do not have to be intimately familiar with them to use Max-Q1061. I'll get back to this a little bit later, but Max-Q1061 also features a directly accessible AES engine for bulk encryption and decryption. Okay. This enables AES encryption, decryption up to 20 megabits per second. This is useful when there is a lot of data that needs to be encrypted on the fly and sent over. Ah, oh, okay. Max-Q1061 also has a true random number generator to guarantee unique transaction and protection against replay attacks. Ah. The yellow box is a 32 kilobyte EEPROM allowing a storage of keys and sensitive data thanks to the flexible and user customizable secure file system. Okay, so how would we go about actually using this? Yeah, so we provide a toolbox. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Let's go. So here are the tools in our toolbox. I know there are lots of technical terms here, and it's maybe beyond the scope of this talk to go deep into each of those terms. But in general, we support cryptographic services, including the major symmetric key algorithms, as well as NIST approved elliptic curve asymmetrical key algorithms, also secure hash algorithms up to SHA-512 and various MAC digest algorithms. Also, there is an on-chip key generator that generate AES and elliptic curve keys. Okay, cool. So let's continue on the toolbox. The toolbox include TLS key negotiations, ECC based TLS authentication, digital signature generations and verification, as well as TLS packet encryption. In addition to these, it supports Mac algorithms as well as file system managers, life cycles and key loading protocols, watchdog timer and tamper input. Also, do you remember that I mentioned that the user may not need to know all the details about these tools? Absolutely. Well, we provide the TLS host stack for most CPU architectures. Cool. Okay. Here's an example of what we provide for Linux operating systems. You know, the light teal block is the MaxQ1061 host library, which includes an SPI or I2C adaption layer. MaxQ1061 host library code communicates through generic platform independent functions, and the adaption layer provides a real implementation of communication functions using the platform's actual SPI or I2C driver. In the Linux case, Maxim provides a default implementation that uses the standard Linux device files. All the MaxQ1061 services are abstracted by the MaxQ1061 host library, meaning that there is no need to write code that sends and receives command at low level. Cool. The MaxQ1061 host library is in charge of communicating with MaxQ1061, unwrapping the functions, calls into SPI or I2C commands and vice versa for the responses. We are not limited to Linux though. The MaxQ1061 EV kit is compliant with Raspberry Pi as well. Very cool. Okay, so MaxQ1061 is clearly not the only secure microcontroller out there. What does MaxQ1061 buy me that the others do not? Well, you know, the wider temperature range is a strong competitive advantage for industrial applications. In our case, it's from minus 40 to 109 degrees C. Nice. The strength of a Cryptographical algorithm depends on the key length, as you know. By, mm -hmm. by offering 512 bits of ECDSA, MaxQ1061 provides a higher level of security than competition. Okay. As a trend is to increase the key length over time, we are better prepared for the future than our competition. I see. In almost all competition cases, the TLS implementation is split between the secure core processor and the software stack running on the main processor, whereas MaxQ1061 fully handles the critical steps of TLS, while other solutions leave more work to the software stack running on the main processor. Okay. MaxQ1061 is only secure code processor on the market supporting bulk encryption through a dedicated engine and thus able to reach the 20 megabit per second throughput. Also, Max1061 has integrated support for secure boot that includes the hashing of the code while other solutions provide only the building blocks such as signature verifications. Okay, so what kind of hurdles do I need to overcome when I'm going through this implementation process? Yeah, while TLS is standard protocol, its implementation in constrained embedded device remains a challenge, especially from software standpoint. The R&D investment might be costly here. Yeah. Again, storing keys securely is a must for secure devices. Not only should the keys be physically protected, but one must also be able to define at which stage of the product lifecycle keys can be programmed, read, or deleted. Sure, yeah. For example, in some cases, a key must be programmed before the device is in the field and never be changed. In other situations, keys must be changed every six months or every year. This really depends on customers' policies, but a secure IC must be able to accommodate all these policies. When present, certificates enable a lot of functions such as remote authentications, but distributing certificates is often a challenge. Some customers just ignore the presence of a certificate in supposedly trusted devices. I see. Okay. So 
How are you going to get past those hurdles? Here are the solutions we propose to the challenges that I've described. The TLS stack will save the R&D effort. The security policy enforcement is supported by our fully customizable and flexible file system. MaxQ1061 can manage a public key infrastructure enabling the verification of a certificate by a parent certificate. This enables secure and easy distribution of certificates during product lifecycle. Okay, so from what I've seen, Reza, what are the common pitfalls here? Well, the, the, very, the most common pitfall here is that people say there is no need for hardware security. <laughs> right. And then they say we do everything in software. Well, this is the most common objection encountered when there is no standard or regulation that forces people to use a secure IC. Sure. Many customers also believe that hardware security is only for paranoids and mm. <laughs> uh, the actual attacks will not happen to their end product. Not true. <laughs> yeah, this has proven to be wrong. While not extremely sophisticated, some attacks are very effective. Yeah, so what else? There's got to be more pitfalls, right? Yeah, they are. You know, the other thing that I've seen is that some customer may say that, you know, my high-end application processor has hardware encryption engines, so I don't need Max-Q1061. Well, that's true. You know, there are more and more high-end generic microcontrollers having hardware cryptographical engines. It's a common mistake, however, to believe that just because a micro has a hardware cryptographical engine, it's secure. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, because most of the microcontrollers do not offer strong keys protection oh. and are vulnerable to side channel attacks. Customers can still improve the security of a device based on such micros by adding the Max-Q1061. They will take advantage of the secure key storage capability and advanced protection against side channel attacks. Excellent. This has been super cool, Reza, but where would I go for even more information? Yeah, you can find more information at maximintegrated.com slash maxq1061. Also for evaluation kit, please see maximintegrated.com slash maxq1061 dash evkit. Also, I would like to refer our viewers to our support page at maximintegrated.com slash support. Should they have any questions or need more information. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Reza. Thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out more information about the Max-Q1061, a turnkey solution for embedded system security from Maxim Integrated. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the Chalk Talks section of eejournal.com or head on over to YouTube, keyword eejournal.